Right, a very warm welcome back. And uh, yeah, today we're looking at the business of heritage, actually. Uh, all hands on deck. We've got a special broadcast happening out of Mapungubwe. And here in studio, we've been talking to uh, various people uh, that are involved in various aspects of uh, this whole heritage system. And uh, joining me now, we've got uh, from the Heritage Portal, uh, James Ball and Wiki Africa, Isla Haddo Flood. To both of you, a very warm welcome. Thanks for joining us on the program. Thank you. Okay, so a heritage portal, that's your baby. Tell us about what it is and how does it work with SARS? The heritage portal, um, something I'm very, very excited yeah. about. Uh, if you look at the heritage sector in South Africa, it's very fragmented. Mm. There's a lot of duplication. People aren't really learning from each other. Mm. So we thought, why not put together a platform where we can bring everyone together. They can discuss certain things. They can find specialists. Mm. They can act, uh, yeah, they can become activists, they can be enthusiasts, they can do all sorts of things in one place rather than being spread out and have no voice. So, so it's pretty much the place to, to so have a voice. So what you're saying is almost like a, a chat room for people that are interested in talking about and sharing stuff of heritage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So all you right. can come online, you can share, you can discuss, you can pretty much contribute your passion for heritage. Okay. All right. Isla, Wiki Africa. Now, uh, uh, you know, for whatever people say about uh, Wikipedia, I use it a lot. And I'm just wondering, Cyrus has set up this thing. Why wasn't an, all of this information on Wikipedia anyway? Well, Wikipedia relies yeah. on a huge amount of volunteers. There yeah. are 100,000 plus volunteers who um, have created the content that you access on Wikipedia. And um, it accesses sites, sources, yeah. and it needs second sites in order to make sure that the information that they give up um, is, is accurate, and so that all articles are accurate. And um, SARS being, it's the first time that South Africa's heritage yeah. is in one place on, um, and online, yeah. in many cases, it's the first time that a lot of the heritage information and South Africa's mm -hmm. heritage collateral is actually online, and it's the first time that Wikipedians can actually pull in that information into Wikipedia and create articles that are relevant to our heritage. All right, so um, James, at home, how can a person get involved with the heritage portal in particular? You know, how does mm -hmm. one just, uh, you know, go online and... You can, uh, <laughs> you can go on and you can find all sorts of fantastic information. Yeah. Uh, what we really want to encourage people to do is to contribute. So if you've got an article about heritage, if you've got an announcement about heritage, uh, if you want to chat about buildings in danger, sites in danger, heritage projects, uh, go on, uh, discuss with other professionals, yeah. activists, enthusiasts. And uh, going back to the point about SARS, is what we want to do is we want to channel uh, a lot of people towards the official commenting system on SARS because people are always complaining that they don't have a mm. voice. Mm. And now they've got two, three, four fantastic platforms to have a voice. So no one should be complaining that heritage is no longer relevant. Okay, uh, so we've got SARS, Heritage Portal, Wikipedia. And I guess the way Wikipedia works is that we have to contribute. So you need more Wikipedians. Yeah, there's, uh, they're just in, in Africa especially. Yeah. There's no, there's no um, culture of contribution to the right. internet yet on a, on a on a collateral scale. So we, um, we really do encourage people. It really is the, the um, it really is a platform yeah. that you yourself can edit. And it's very important that, a that Africans re write their own stories yeah. and write mm -hmm. their own history and write, make sure that that is truly reflected on a global platform like Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. And only we can do it. So only the Africans here can do it. Okay, so to both of you, really into this heritage thing. What's the value? of locking this heritage stuff and, and, and recording it and sharing it? I have a slightly um, different answer to the, the normal <laughs> one, which is yeah. that the potential of the heritage sector in South Africa yeah. is massive. Mm. Uh, very few people tie it to the big social goals of our country. If we can get the heritage sector working, we're talking job creation, mm. skills development, we're talking spaces for schools, clinics, etc. It's finally time for heritage to be aligned with where our country is going. 
Um, so I'm very excited to be part of this. I hope it's a movement that's, that's taking off. Okay. All right. We've run out of time, unfortunately, but uh, uh, this is something I'm sure we can chat about for quite a bit. But we'll leave it there for the time being. James Ball and Isla had a flood. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you. All Thank right. you very much.